morning. Pastor Steve here. Down in Colossians 2.8, he says, Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men and the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. We saw that, that our spiritual lives are built on faith. It's urgent that we not only know the word as it's written, but that the author as well. And all scriptures point to that one uh, central being, that's Christ. He's, he's our be-all. There's a simplicity of faith that I used to really enjoy, and it's hard to get back if you get away from it. Sometimes studying theology can get me away from the simplicity of faith if I'm not careful. I need to be rooted. I need to be grounded, as Paul said in the last verse. Philosophy says you need proof of your faith. Folks, I don't need shrouds of Turin to prove me that Jesus rose from the dead. I just trust. I just trust. It's maybe simple. I mean, you can get swayed by philosophies and empty deceits. Uh, REM song, remember back in the, I don't know, 80s, 90s, that's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight losing my religion. If all you have is a religion, then you could lose it. It's like, it's like loving someone. If you love them for their smile, or you love them for their generosity, if those things stop, then you might stop loving them. My wife, I like her answer. I said, honey, why do you love me? I've said this more than once. I mean, it's amazing to me that she does. She says, not for any reason. I just love you. What well, has comfort for me in that? But Ravi would tell you uh, that he can show you how logical faith can be. But only Christ can bring you to faith. Only the Spirit of God can draw you to faith. Paul told Timothy to refuse um, profane and old wives' fables, exercise himself to godliness because that's profitable. So be rooted, be grounded in faith. Be happy when you have apologists, really I love it, who can show you logical answers to hard questions. But most of all, trust the Christ who loved you and, and died for you. And you don't have an answer. You just run to Christ. Say, I believe in you, Jesus. I believe in you. From Browning's Paraclesius, I stoop into a dark, tremendous sea of cloud. It is but for a time. I press God's lamp close to my breast. Its splendors, sooner or late, will pierce the gloom. I shall emerge ere long. You ponder that, Pastor Steve.